give you a quick rundown on how to use an edge finder. This specific one is six millimeter on the bottom. So when we touch off, we will move over three millimeter. You can just enter your number to B, you know, plus or minus three on your X, plus or minus three on your Y, whatever way it comes out to be. Um, I prefer manually moving it over three. That way you get the visual of it being in the middle of the edge finder and you don't accidentally go the wrong way. So we'll knock it out of true. Once I start hitting the edge, it will true up. As soon as it pops back out, I'll call it home right there. Now I'm hitting Y, enter to zero out my Y. I'll do the same on my X. I'm gonna go ahead and move over now. Start with my X. Now we can come in and get a visual. Now we can see that we are on center on X. As well as Y. With the edge finder, you will always move over half of whatever the diameter is. There are 10 millimeter, five millimeter that we've had in the shop, six as this one. And whatever the diameter is, you'll go half of that moving over to find center. We've had a lot of guys that come in and they'll use the six millimeter one. You know, they'll move over three, they'll get in that habit, they'll go to move over, use the 10 millimeter edge finder they still move over three. It's not a set amount for every edge finder. That should be pretty simple. You're touching off the edge with something and you want to go to center. So the best way I reference it is if you touch off with this edge finder, move over three, you're on center. Now if the edge finder was the size of a coffee can and you touch off and move over three, is that center? No, you would want to go half of the diameter to find center. Pretty basic, but you know there's a lot of people out there that don't understand just the concept and why things are done, so try to make it as simple as I can. So next thing I'm gonna show you is basic drilling program on a bridge port with Prototrack. The material that I'm using the demonstration is 19 by 150, 3.2 millimeter thick, brass. So here's X0, Y0. Say this is our blueprint 150. We have 19. Say we have holes every 25 millimeter. You know, obviously we're not drawing to scale. Say we have 25, 50, 75, 100. They're in the middle as far as our Y, so that's going to be 9.5 in the middle. And let's bring it to the screen. It is pretty easy, and a lot of people like to start out this way, but to write your program out just by looking at your, your blueprint. 
So one thing that I like to show people when they're starting off is make your X column, your Y column. Given that our zero is top left, my first X is going to be plus 25. And that is absolute. So then ABS, we'll get to that later. Our Y is minus 9.5. And that is also an absolute number, which means we're working from zero, not incremented from a previous location. Our X, next line in X is going to be plus 50, absolute. Now our Y isn't moving, so we can do two things. We can enter minus 9.5 absolute again, or we can press zero, ink. And that means that we're not moving from the previous location. So it will stay at minus 9.5 on the Y as long as we enter zero ink. Our next X is going to be plus 75 absolute. And then we can go zero ink again, plus 100 absolute, zero ink again and so on. So we already have our zero picked up in the top left corner. I have a program in right now, so to delete that, press mode, edit, erase program, yes, wipe that out. So we'll start fresh program, we'll call this number one, ABS, absolute set. That's basically our enter button, so we'll press enter. Now we're going to do position drill. It's asking the X location and the Y location. Very simple. Our first X location, if we look at our drawing, is plus 25. If we go back and reference our handwritten print, it shows plus 25 ABS. So we'll two, five, decimal, enter, plus 25 ABS. Our Y, minus 9.5. Absolute, enter over the tool number because we're not doing a program that is using multiple tools with different offsets. Position drill again, line number two, go straight down to our second line, plus 50, absolute, our Y, zero, ink, enter over the tool again, very simple stuff here. Position drill, third line, 75 absolute, zero ink on the Y. We look over, 75 absolute. Y is still on the same location. Absolute, zero ink on the Y. The next line, 100 absolute. Y is not moving still. X. 125, which we didn't have room for, but that would, if we were doing 25 millimeter increments, that would be the next step. Enter, increment, enter. That is all, it is as simple as that. We are looking at the detail and it's telling us our points on X and Y and it's as simple as putting that into a line like this and entering it line by line. Don't overthink this, it's very simple. And that's that. Mode, run, start. Now the same program could have been done another way, which sometimes engineers will call out a typical dimension and it may look like this 25 typical TYP and that will just mean that each hole is going to be 25 millimeter incremented from the previous hole 
So then you could write your program out, 25 absolute, and your first line, your Y absolute, giving it its start location. And then you could do your program to start off like plus 25 ink, plus 25 ink, plus 25 ink, ink standing for incremented. And that is going to move 25 from the previous location throughout the program. So if we press go, so you can see we're going to move 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, end of the program. I'll erase this and we will do it the incremented way. And sometimes depending how the program was written or the detail was drawn, it is easier to program it this way. Position drill, we are 25 absolute minus 9.5 absolute that'll give us our foundation our first starting point we'll position drill again and we'll just go 25 incremented zero ink on the y x 25 ink and that is a plus 25 zero ink on the y another plus 25 ink zero incremented on the y and then we will watch this program play out. 25, 50, 75, 100. Looks like I missed one there. So I'll add that, 25 incremented, zero increment on the Y. And it's the same program as we had before, just written different. So I'll throw the piece in there and I'll drill some holes. Simple as that.